Hello and welcome to the fifth and final video in my macros for weight loss mini series. My name is Kayla Ray Gergen and I'm a registered dietitian specializing in weight loss for women. Today we're going to be talking about alcohol, one of the hidden or lesser known macronutrients. But let's get into it. So I think when it comes to weight loss, a lot of people think that they have to give up alcohol altogether or we like to, on the other hand, think about alcohol and those studies that we love to hear about how wine has antioxidants drink up right so let's talk about some of the pros and cons of alcohol and weight management first of all i'm a big believer in moderation and i don't think that you have to completely give up alcohol to reach your goals however i would be cautious on amount and some of the choices when it comes to weight loss Alcohol isn't going to get you to your goals any faster, but I understand that that's a part of social events and real life, so enjoy it in moderation. Let's talk about how alcohol impacts other things. We'll start by talking about sleep. So when we have a drink or two, we think that we we sleep better, right? We fall asleep faster, uh, especially if we've maybe had some more drinks. But the truth is alcohol, once it's processed in our body, is a stimulant. So while we might fall asleep faster, we're actually going to get poorer quality sleep. So passing out does not equal good quality rest. So one thing to keep in mind, when it comes to that impact on sleep, our heart rate tends to be higher and that lesser quality sleep tends to leave us hungrier and our blood sugar levels less balanced the next day. So if you know you're going to drink, be sure that you've got healthy foods on hand for the next day. And on top of that, make sure you've got some snacks or munchies for the night before, because in the moment when we do have alcohol, it does tend to tank our blood sugars. That's why we crave things like nachos, pizza, high carb, high salt things that tend to satiate that craving. When it comes to choosing what alcoholic beverage to choose, skip the sugary mixers, opt for things like dry champagne, dry wine, and some of your spirits with a low sugar, lower calorie mixer. So for example, when it comes to spirits, think of things like vodka, whiskey, tequila, gin. Some of those are going to fare better off than some of the, the higher sugar ones, like think brandy or some of the snops. They tend to have a little bit more sugar sugar added in them, it can be a double whammy to your liver. Be sure to hydrate, 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 plan snacks for the night or day of and day after, just so you have some healthy snacks on hand when those munchies hit, and know that your sleep might suck. So plan a nap for the next day. So thank you for watching this video about the hidden macronutrient alcohol. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to see more like this. If you have more questions about alcohol and weight loss or comments of your own, feel free to drop them below and I'm happy to answer those. If you missed my previous videos, which talked about the other macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbohydrates, be sure to jump back and check those out to see which macronutrients I recommend for weight loss. Thank you for watching.